Look, I can't... I, I'm not good with directions. I depend mostly on a GPS and knowing the area. I mean, I most likely know where you are by the closest fast food joint and a freeway number or street name. I just... I can't, okay? I just can't. And I always get reminded of this flaw when I'm at Anime Expo. Ugh, Anime Expo. So many damn stories. This one was of me driving, though, and getting lost in a very sketchy area. Uh, okay, the first time it happened, I was with my sister and a friend. It was after the con, we were tired, hungry, we just wanted to take off our cosplays, get to the hotel, and just sleep for the next day. So, you know, I'm following the, the GPS to get to our hotel, and one of the roads are, you know, it's closed. So I thought, hey, I'll just take a turn here in the street that I'm in, and maybe it'll reroute us. Well, it did reroute us, but uh, it, not in the area that we wanted. Look, I, 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 it was so sketchy. There, there was a tumbleweed everything there was no people on the streets let me tell you this was like a dead area no people walking in the streets there was some mattresses on the floor i it was scary <laughs> especially since my friend decided to strip off her cosplay more than she should have and with you know no wig no makeup well with makeup excessive makeup with no wig no cosplay i freaked out and i remember yelling at my friend to keep her head down because it looked like i had just picked up a hooker with a minor in the back of my car oh my god i was embarrassed i was so like oh, let's get out of here I remember we just kind of screamed not screamed i mean we kind of did it was just like a, a yelling as we tried to get out of the area because the gps just wouldn't wouldn't let us leave it, it wanted to trap us there it kind of felt like silent hill i mean if there was some fog showing up i we were in silent hill for all i know now this wasn't the first time that it happened the second year that i went to anime expo i mean it was me my sister and another friend of mine his name is Mario. I, I say his name because he, he will most likely see this video. Sup, Mario? We're talking about that time. Um, We went to drop off this other person we knew at a concert they were going to. It was an after Anime Expo. Again, we were tired. We just wanted to go to, you know, just eat and just like, and just, yeah. So, this time, it was in a whole different area. It wasn't even the area the last time I got lost in. It was a different area. And I turn, and again, a convenient road is closed, you know, detour kind of thing. And yeah, this time it was in the middle of the night, not during the day. And I took a wrong turn, or like I wanted, in my mind I thought, rerouting, GPS will never fail me. It failed me. It hates me. GPSs hate me. Again, we were in a different sketchy area. And you would think, you would think I would have learned my lesson. And uh, yeah. We, we, uh, <laughs> Mario rode up, rolled up his window, and he's like, nope, nope, nope. <laughs> we were in Silent Hill this time because it was foggy. It was foggy, it was dark, it was scary, it was spooky, there was no soul in the streets, nothing but tumbleweeds. I didn't even know there were tumbleweeds in LA. This, it was like we were in the city. Why are there tumbleweeds in the city? Oh, never again. We, I, I get nervous when I go to Anime Expo because this seems to always happen at Anime Expo. I get lost at least once or twice. I mean, uh, it happens. I always end up in Silent Hill. I wonder if this is a sign that Silent Hill is calling for me. No, I don't want to see Pyramid Head. No. <laughs> so yeah, okay, I'm gonna go now.